Welcome to my classroom. Today, we will be talking about criteria for judging ideas. You may be wondering, what criteria should be used for idea judgment? So many good ideas can be generated, and that can seem overwhelming. This is why you need a criteria for judging ideas. Having an idea criterion can help prioritize ideas within a given context. Once ideas are organized and prioritized, the best ideas will surface using your criterion. If you've been collecting ideas in an idea log or capturing your ideas, then you probably have an inventory of all of your ideas. You want to sequence them in the order in which they occurred. Now that your ideas are organized, you want to browse through your list and use a criterion for judging your ideas. Here are some key questions that you can use. Some of the key questions for your criteria are, what standards might be applied to these ideas? How might the strengths and weaknesses of the ideas be determined? Which criteria are essential, desirable, optional? How might the ideas be best compared or analyzed? Which criteria will refine and develop ideas the best? Once you've addressed the key questions, you can now develop a simple criteria for critiquing ideas. You can classify your ideas as excellent, to a long shot. You may never choose to back a long shot idea or a 50-50 idea. However, if you list and classify them, you have the choice of rejecting or improving them. If you do not list them, you have no choice in the matter at all. Using your criteria, you should be able to funnel the huge quantity of ideas into a select few. For more information, visit www.instructionaldesignlady.com. Now you give it a try.